Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Umar. And my name is Umar. What the hell are you doing here? Oh no! What are you looking at? Here he comes again to ruin my I video. I can go anywhere. I don't need to ask you or anybody. You don't have to be here in the first place. You all know right, that. You don't have to be here at all. Sitting people. I can handle that. Disturb Come on. I'm just gonna eat my pizza. Oh, what I have to do with this you guy? See? There you go. So I'm not gonna disturb you, and you don't disturb me. Keep talking. Wait, wait. How do you know? How do I actually know that we're gonna talk about how pizza? How do I know? Like how? You are a duffer. I'm what? your you inner voice. Duffer? If I don't know, Watch then who mouth. knows? Come on. Have some sense. Okay, whatever. Do whatever you like. So guys, you know we're gonna talk about pizzas today. I mean, like pizza jobs in Finland. How you find them, from where you get it, how much money you can make, how many hours this you need to work, blah, 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 blah. I tell you, so this guy talks a lot. I'm in less than five minutes, you. stick around. So when I say pizza jobs, that means you can do many things inside the pizza shops. You can be a pizza maker, you can be a dishwasher, you can do the deliveries, or you can be the guy who is helping the main guy, like the owner, you know? Or you can do everything, multitasking, you know? Can't you stay quiet? You can do everything, from pizza making till delivery, and still the boss is not happy. But by the way, what happens to your hair, man? <laughs> Is this what you call a haircut? What's on my hair? hair? Don't you comment about you my hair. About you know? My hair? This is no, no, style. This, 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 this is, is summer. summer. This is summer style. No, not like that. You don't know about style. So before we go further, let's understand who is the boss, you know, what kind of person we are looking at. We are looking at somebody who came to Finland 15, 20 years ago as a student or some other way. And that person actually works in a pizza or started a business and he has been exploited by people back then. So he learned the pizza business and everything and now he's exploiting other people now, you know. So we're looking at some Indian, Pakistani, Bangladeshi, Nepali, Sri Lankan, uh, Kurdish, Turkish, Iraqi, Middle Eastern, or even Italian, some Spanish, or sometimes even Finnish people. They are the they are the nationalities you find mostly in the pizza business. So they're the one running the show. Like, how do you know? How do you know that this guy is the pizza owner? The one guy who is shouting all the time to everybody in the pizza shop, like, you know nothing. I have to teach you everything. You don't even know how to cut tomatoes. You don't know. You don't know how to drive. You are very slow. I used to be very fast. Mac time. Blah blah blah. So. So first we should understand that who is the boss here. So that's the boss we're talking about. So in Finland we have many pizza shops, like thousands of them, you know. So if we also include restaurants and others, so that increase the number even further. And we do have some application which actually serves an intermediary, you know, the customer order the pizza online, the pizza delivery comes to you and you are working in the pizza and then you start. But you don't have to go in that detail because you're not gonna work there for the whole of your life. You're just gonna do that when you are studying, right? So you don't need to worry about that. So you work more hours, but you paid less. This is what we call gray market or exploitation. So you get four euros per hour. That's the minimum you get. And then they can give you up to like eight euros. But actually the minimum salary in Finland is about 10 euros. So either way you are way down the minimum wage. So, you know, normally in pizza industry, if you're a student, they know your situation. So they're going to treat you like that and they're going to exploit you quite a lot. And they might say like, you don't know nothing. You don't know the basic stuff. So we have to teach you at all so that's why we are paying you less when you learn over the time you learn the skill then we're gonna increase your salary but that actually didn't happen very often second thing is uh, they pay you cash they don't pay you in the bank I don't know why but I can guess I can be wrong all the time but I can guess they wanted to avoid or play around with the tax and stuff so they want you to be part of their bad practice somehow and you're a new guy you don't know nothing you don't know shit you just accept it whatever they say because you need the job and once you get used to it then it doesn't even feel that it's bad if you talk to somebody hey why you get paid in cash you you don't get paid in a bank this is not good you know it's not a record oh it's okay everybody does that so that everybody does that is the phrase which everybody say that you know so that everybody is doing wrong so i should be doing wrong
Okay, the most important thing for today's video, how to get the pizza jobs. It's very simple. You just take a play card and you write something on top of it. So what you're gonna write? Watch this. Okay, that was a joke. I didn't mean that, you know. Yes, they exploit. There's no doubt about that. But sometimes they help too. They're the same guys who help you when you need the most. For example, when you want to extend your visa and you don't have anything in your hand, you go to them and then you offer your services. So they give you a contract and you can renew your visa and stuff. Many people I know who did that. So yes, if they use you, if they exploit you, you can also get benefit from them too. I'm not gonna say it's a win-win, but mm, you know, it's kind of you scratch my back, I scratch yours, that kind of a thing. When we talk about how to get a pizza job, you should have certain skills. So, Zoomer, do you know what kind of skills we require to get a pizza job? You're eating pizza? Yes, I know. You should be good in some basic kitchen skills, like you should know how to cut tomatoes, potatoes, how to make burgers, and then how to do dishes, etc., etc. And yes, one top skills, which is really required. And that is, you have to say, yes, boss, all the time. If you say, yes, boss, then your job is stable and you can carry on. If you ever say no, then your boss will throw you out. Like, I want to throw this guy out. No matter what we say about that, but still, pizza jobs have some advantages. Number one, you get more working hours, so you know it is easy for your visa extension that you're working more time. So that means if you're working with a good owner, then more hours means more money in your pocket. Doesn't matter with the bank or with the cash, but means more money. And second thing, you have a flexible contract. You can even call your spouses and other people if you have good relations with the pizza owner. He or she can support you on that. And number three, which is very important, you improve your cooking skills. If you a bachelor who doesn't know how to cook and you're just relying on the you know fast food or maybe uh, the food outside, uh, the ready food thing, so you can cook a lot of good stuff yourself. That's another benefit of working in pizza. Number four is you get good tips when you go to deliver the pizza because when you go and it's like uh, snowing all the time, so the Finns, Finns are nice people, you know, they understand that, okay, you take a lot of hurdle and you come here, so you did a lot of effort. So, for example, the order of pizza of like 10 euros, the order is 50 euros, they might give you five or 10 euros on top. So the student, that additional money is gonna help you some way or the other. Number five, this is quite stable job. Like if you like that work and you want to carry on, the pizza owner, if he's happy with you, he's not gonna say, hey, you don't come from tomorrow, you know? Because he's getting a good worker who is working on a lesser salary than the normal person. And why would he let you go? Simple as that. is probably the most one is ego, exploitation, and insults. Yes, you heard me right. They hurt your ego quite a lot. They insult you quite many times. And yes, exploitation is always there. Exploitation is a synonym of doing visa job, so make it clear. And second thing is, too much time, you work 12 to 14 hours, too less money. That's another problem. You are doing a lot of things, but you may not enjoy things around you. You may not start appreciating the same European feel or Scandinavian nature because you are too busy doing the work where you get too less money. Okay, watch this picture to understand it better. So I have a scenario one where you have a bad boss in pizza. So you're allowed to work 25 hours a week and they pay you four euros per hour because he's a bad boss, you know. So you earn almost 100 euros per week. That means monthly you can make no more than 400 euros working 25 hours. Scenario two where you have a reasonable boss. So they pay you six euros an hour. So you work 25 hours, that comes to 150 euros and monthly 600 euros. Scenario number three, you get a good boss. So if somebody pays you eight euros an hour in pizza business, so we call him a good pizza owner or good boss. So you make around 200 euros a week. That means monthly 800 euros. Now, it is still less than the minimum wage rate in uh, in Finland, which is 10 euros as I mentioned earlier. Now, if you want to earn more money working 25 hours a week because you want to study uh, as well and you want to focus on that, then you have to work more hours and that's the point where exploitation began. They made you work 12 hours, 15 hours a day and, uh, you know, 100 hours or maybe more than a week so you can earn handsome amount of money. So, as more than 25 hours are not allowed, so your studies might be affected. But the world is not finishing here we have something for you. So in the next picture, I'm gonna make a comparison between some odd jobs. For example, you have one alternative where you can work in the cleaning companies as a cleaning job. So you have monthly average with cleaning work, 
Again, the same uh, working hours mean 25 hours a week, 100 hours uh, a month, you make around 1,000 euros. So what is the difference? They pay you better pay rate, 10 euros an hour. Alternative number two, where you deliver newspaper by the night, and that's called posty job. Obviously, you need to work in the night. You make around 1150 to 1250 euro, working the same amount of time. And then there is another thing now that is very popular, which is called food delivery services. And one of the applications is very getting a lot of ground here is called Volt. So you work there and you earn as much as you wish because you log in and you log out based on your own schedule. But from my estimate, maybe I'm wrong, you can make up, up to 800 to 1000 euros depending upon the number of orders. Uh, keeping in mind the same amount of time you gave. That means 25 hours a week. So guys, now the cat is out from the box. So choose wisely. Another disadvantage which we already talked about is the cash payment. So they give you cash payment so you become directly or indirectly part of that dirty business game where you spin the figures to save the tax and all that. And after some time it seems right to you. You might not feel that you're doing something wrong. So that is more bad for me. You know, if you lose that feeling that you're doing something wrong, this is worse than what I can even speak. Okay, wait, so if you're getting the impression that these guys are really bad and you know, you should not work with them. So that's not my point here. My point is you should do the pizza jobs if and only if you don't get any other job. Initially, as a student, you should find other odd jobs. For example, you can do some work in posting, you can do some work in cleaning, and you can find a research job. I have made separate videos on all these topics. You can find links in the description or somewhere above, so you can check them out. I, I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments what other topics you want me to cover. For example, cover like uh, the visa issues, the, the success rate of visa, the study thing, etc. etc. Or maybe life in general in Finland. I would love to help you. See you around.